If you want to create your first mobile game without putting in a lot of effort into it, then here is the Endless Runner Creator available to you for free throughout the uh, month of May. And let's have a look at it. So if we would hit play right off the bat, already the game is pretty much made for you. There's music, high score, all that stuff available. You can play the Flappy Bird game, uh, which I'm not gonna play for too long. Because if you noticed, a couple of years ago, this thing popped off and was really popular and it was really, really hard and annoying. Uh, also, there's like some kind of custom pickups, some health and all that stuff. Now, let's hit menu and there's actually quite a lot of things that we could do over here. We have some kind of a road runner, which can be used with a mouse to control around or keyboard keys. And you just simply grab the coins and avoid the enemies. Uh, there's quite a lot of templates. My personal favorite one was this voxel one. Uh, you just simply click the mouse and you go around. And this would be, in, uh, in my imagination, you could create like a space game with this, where there's like asteroids coming at you and all that stuff. And I think this would actually be really cool. And it wouldn't actually take you that much time to create this thing. Because, well, most of the, well, all of the logic is already made for you. You just simply would have to recreate some assets to make it stylized your way. Don't really want to waste your time with this, but uh, simply let me show you some of the other games. While you hold, it goes up. When you release, it goes down and you avoid all kinds of objects. Uh, and there's the lizard run, 2D and 3D. Uh, which basically you need to change the color. So you jump with one, then you change the color. This game frustrated me quite a lot, as you can see. I'm really, really bad at it. Basically, yeah, you just run, change the color, make sure you hit the correct, correct color, which I can't seem to do. Uh, then we have the Sun Runner as well, which is essentially, again, the same thing, but from the rear view, we can just simply try, get as far as we can with avoiding the obstacles that are coming towards us. And then another one is the vertical runner, which just simply, you just need to jump from one side to another and try to avoid these objects. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this pack. There's quite a lot of templates to choose from and it should be quite simple and quite easy to get started and make your own first mobile application. So let's get right into the next one and let's talk about the last one on the list. Well, on this visual list that we can see. So the strike a pose a free pack. So uh, I'm using my one of my tutorial test projects for this one. And so this thing comes with a bunch of animations. So if we would use our up page up and page down, you'll see that this guy is changing its poses and there's quite a lot of them. So if for some reason you need a bunch of posing animations, then this pack is for you since it comes with a bunch of them. And I believe I ran out of them. So these are the poses. Uh, obviously the movement is not really there for it. There should be obviously some adjustments will need to be made but other than that the poses are really cool uh, there's a lot of them you can pick and choose which ones exactly you like because here is a bunch of them like the walking ones pointing ones and real quick let's have a look at the animation blueprint because this thing is a beauty like the way that they have made this you can see there's a lot of states so it can go from one state to another based on the pose and then it blends them all together somehow some way with a bunch of conditions with going forwards backwards with like these uh, delays that allow these animations to blend together this is the main one which connects all the other ones and then there is also a bunch of uh, these transfer blueprints so it changes the blueprints based on whatever you need to run and all of them are look looking really really nice all of them look like this except for the main one which is a big uh, big square essentially uh, looks like a piece of art to me uh, obviously I'm probably not gonna use that because these are just posing animations and I don't really need my characters to be posing much but well um, maybe one or two of these animations could come in quite useful 
The next pack is the Low Poly Pirates pack, uh, which is not very, well, this map at least is not very well optimized. There's no, I don't feel like there is any, well, there may be, nah, there, I don't feel like there is any LODs on this one. Maybe I might be wrong, maybe there are some, but I'm getting some very low FPS when I'm looking at the whole thing at the same time. But obviously there's a lot of detail that is getting loaded, which maybe doesn't even need to be loaded in at all at this point. And also another thing is that this whole thing, I believe, is yeah it's a foliage it's painted with a foliage tool so this is going to make the whole thing lag a little bit more than maybe it should be uh, now there's this big ship uh, for which I actually what I found really uh, not good what I would like better to have is that maybe not all the details would be already placed in the ship because there's some of the things that like these barrels are not here but all the other stuff is already here so like these cells are locked so we can't really go inside of here or do anything with it also like these cannons are already standing here so we can't change them with different cannons or anything like that also this furniture piece uh, is just there and we can't really do much about it the chests and this stuff can be removed and I think that a lot of these assets could be very useful if you are creating some kind of a treasure hunting game or whatever uh, with a low poly stylized style. So because here's a lot of palms, a lot of grass, uh, all those assets available to you to create a nice looking levels. Also, water is really cool. You can see the, the water is moving up and down. There's also this white effect, which usually the water have in the shores. So yeah, the materials are quite simple. It looks like there's just one color to it and that's pretty much it. There's, yeah, it's I, they look like there's just colors. There's no, so if we grab the master, then yeah, all we have is color. There is simply no texture whatsoever, which is just fine for low poly. Um, they have a moving effect for the leaves and that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, one thing though, like, like I said, they don't have any LODs. Uh, that's why the FPS is that low when we look at the whole thing at the same time. Obviously, there should be some LODs applied to this, uh, which you can create on your own. It's not too difficult. And then I believe the FPS will increase quite significantly. So real quick, let's have a look at the overview. So there's a couple of clouds, some big mountains with a volcano and such. Uh, then we have the beach stuff. So we have the bridge, the surfboard, radio, towels, boats, uh, umbrellas, and the lighthouse. And then there's a bunch of trees over here, mostly like tropical, uh, tropical stuff, which looks pretty good. I like these flowers. The flowers look pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and then there's the miscellaneous, which I have no idea what that is. It looks like a light. It's called light shaft. Not exactly sure what that is for. Anyway, the next thing is some rocks and some smaller mountain pieces. Then we have some platforms that we could create like some kind of ruins from. The pirate stuff, which is obviously the chests and the barrels. Uh, the nice looking chair, some table and some... Uh, so we have a gun, compass, uh, this thing, whatever it is. We have a sword and some scrolls, cups, books, all that stuff. And then we have some tiki. Uh, so we have these pieces right here. Uh, this spear looks really cool. This detail is pretty dope to me. Uh, this guy right here also looks pretty interesting. We have a guitar and a coconut drink. Then we have a treasure. So this is supposed to be gold piles, I believe. Then we have some smaller coin pieces, gold, gold bars, some diamonds, uh, some expensive cups, crowns javels something 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 chest thingies and then we have the volcano rocks uh, so here's some lava coming out which is also moving then we have a uh, lava that is coming from somewhere up high and we have this rock piece right here and here are the waters like i mentioned if we go up close you can see these are moving up and down. Obviously, in the demo scene, they have scaled those quite significantly. So you can't really see the movement as much when it's really, really huge. Uh, and then there's also this water that is coming down, like a waterfall and such. And obviously, you can always scale these things up. And it still looks pretty all right, I would say, at least for this type of a low poly game. 
So that's it. Let's head on to the next one, which is the foliage pack. Now, one thing that uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in is that right off the bat, they're like high performance and customizable vegetation and rocks, blah, blah, blah. Grass density can be increased to extreme numbers. I'm like, cool, that's so good. Uh, so this is the demo level that they have created for the showcase. And if I would hit play on this guy, the density is actually not that great. There's some kind of annoying sun glare in my screen constantly. And actually the FPS is not that amazing for this little of a landscape piece. There's nothing really much in it. Now, if we would place the cube down, so two meters, so the character is 180 something. So this would be roughly the character's size. So just for the perspective, if we place this down on the ground, something like this. So this is where our guy would be. And yeah, the level is, as you can see, it's not big at all. And my graphics card is telling me that, nope, this is a little bit too much for me. All you get is 50, 40, 50 FPS. Now, I did some experimenting on my own. I created my own level with my own stuff just to double check what is really going on. Now, what I did, I really took this thing to extreme. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of instances of this uh, using these assets. Now, what I did simply, I created the landscape material and then the landscape where I have the grass texture painted on. That is where it creates 10 different, uh, 10 different assets. So we could have a look at my thing. So here I have my grass type. So I have 10 instances. I have the grass density set to 10. Cooling starts at 5,000, ends at 10,000, and all the rest of the settings I left at default. And I created 10 different uh, grass meshes for this specific texture. So all I have is just one texture and 10 different materials. Now on this one, let's give it a second to load. There we go. Uh, as you can see, my FPS is dropping quite significantly. Now, also remember, I'm recording at this point. Also, like I've always mentioned, my graphics card is not the greatest. Uh, and these numbers are really, really high. We have loads and loads of instances of this grass. Also, all of it is really tall and big. Uh, they do have some LODs applied to them. So you, as you can see, if we go further away, they start to change. So it gets better. Uh, it is good that we have this LODs set up for us already, but obviously you need a little bit of a better graphics card to run this thing, but this thing does seem to be pretty good optimized. So let's go ahead and let's change the settings. Let's go to the low settings. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's bump in some settings up uh, foliage low. So if we go back to Epic. There we go. Okay. So the foliage had to be left at Epic, I guess. Uh, the view of distance should be probably bumped up then as well. Otherwise, we can't really see anything. There we go. We hit play. There we go. So now this is way better. If I lower the graphics settings, uh, still the, the density, as you can see, it's quite extreme. I've took it quite far because they said you can increase the numbers to extreme amounts. And that's exactly what I did. So I still think that this pack is quite good. Uh, it's not exactly what they are promising. Uh, especially what I found really funny is that they're promising like these extreme numbers and all I have they, they all they have is this small piece of landscape that they have some kind of a small demo on um, didn't really feel too extreme for me at least uh, but this this one this one I feel like I did to take a little bit extreme so yeah uh, that's it for these packs and the last thing that is available for free throughout this month is a free uh, plugin which is a advanced RPG system now they have a very in-depth um, documentation over here there's a lot of lot of articles that you can read about this system what it is what it provides there's a bunch of features like inventory there's AI's crafting uh, all kinds of stat thingies. They have a mount system, which is not replicated at this point, but they are promising that there's going to be a bunch of updates in the future, like quest system, dialogue systems, building systems, and even more uh, things in the future. So they have a quite a long uh, documentation with 73 pages. So there's a lot to go through this. Uh, 
I personally don't like RPG games, but obviously there's like millions of people who do. So I didn't really bother trying out this plugin, but uh, they have provided a demo, which is somewhere on, on their site, I guess, because I can no longer find it. But there was a demo that you can download and have a look at it. So that's what we're going to do. So here is the demo. Let's hit play. As you can see, uh, let's go ahead, let's do this guy. Boom, I'm getting 200 FPS. That's dope. Uh, but obviously there's really nothing in the level. But as you can see, ooh, some dramatic music. Wait, can I turn it off? Um, give me a sec. So I lowered the audio. Oh, we got an AI attacking me. Oh my God, oh my God, run. How do I run? Oh, so there's dodging. Okay, I can... How do I put the weapon back? So with one, I put the weapon down. With two, nothing. With three, I have this guy, which you can... Okay, so bullet drop, makes sense. We shot that guy, we shot that guy again, we shoot that guy again. So we see damage on the screen. Let's go ahead, let's grab ourselves a sword and let's mess this guy up. You're going down, homie. This ain't your battle, man. Okay, 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Run, dodge, dodge, jump on the horse. There we go. Run! Yo, dude. Move, 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 move. There we go. There we go. Oh, we can mess this guy up from the horse. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, the controls are a bit weird on this one. Okay, cool. We can jump off it. Damn, this looks dope. This is pretty, pretty dope. Okay, so what else can we do? So we have this now. Oh, the game didn't stop. You're still getting attacked. Um, I wish there was some kind of more info on what buttons I should click. Because there's nothing really happening. Uh, go away console. Okay, can I die? Can I die? No, I guess I cannot die. Well, so I'm not exactly sure what is it exactly that we can do with this project because there's no information about how I can enable some stats or any of that stuff. But the animation part, the battle part, this looks pretty cool. We messed up another guy. There's a big guy again. I guess they're just simply respawning all the time. So yeah. Oh! Oh, we managed to die. And I think that's it. That's it. The game's the game is over. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this month that we have over here. Nothing really too exciting, uh, personally for me at least, but obviously, like I always say, this is a free stuff, like you can't really complain about free stuff. If you don't like it, don't use it, but I strongly suggest that you still get it, uh, just in case maybe like you at some point you figure out like, oh, I need something for my pirate game. Oh, boom, I'm making a low poly one. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Also some grass foliage thingies might come in handy. Uh, always like some kind of poses could come in handy. Who knows what could come in handy in the future. So go ahead, grab those because there's your, they are yours to keep thanks to Epic Games uh, for supporting these creators and giving us uh, the other creators these free stuff to enjoy so yeah that's gonna be it if you are interested in me creating something uh, some kind of a tutorial or some kind of more information about any of the free assets from this month or maybe from the previous ones or in the future what are coming next uh, make sure to leave a comment down below I'll look into that obviously I'm not gonna do anything with the advanced RPG system because uh, if you would open up their page they already have a bunch of tutorials uh, they have a discord server with a bunch of members and they are saying i haven't looked into that but they in the documentation they are saying that there's a bunch of step-by-step -step video tutorials available for this system as well obviously they've put a lot of effort into that probably and they will know that system way better than i ever probably will so yeah uh, that's gonna be it for this month's review thank you for watching and i see you
in the next one.